My name is Tom Carroll and I'm an artist. I use three techniques to concept out characters. The first is a quick sketch technique, the second is blocking out shapes, and the third is using a marker and whiteout or other substitute in order to get the shape going. It goes pretty quickly, so watch several times, but I think you'll enjoy what you see. Thanks. I'm starting a quick sketch and I'm going a lot faster than I normally would. It seems like an incredible speed, but the notion is, is that you're not making any really hard lines at this point. You've made some sketch marks, very light ones with your pencil. Then you go back in and you find the contours that you want. You find the mouth, you find an eye, you find the nose, and it really comes out of your subconscious. A lot of these are very extreme kinds of sketches because depending upon the type of person that you are, you're finding um, things within the face uh, that make it stand out. Now it's not going to be a finished style sketch. It's not going to be something that you would submit as a final character sketch. But in approximately 15 to 20 minutes at normal speed, you can define a character and you can get a really good look at what that character is like. And then you can create more of them. So you could do three, maybe four of these in an hour, and then go back and select the one or the ones that you think are best. So you're not trying to make the drawing into something. Um, uh, you're actually just refining it based on the things that you see in that very first quick sketch. So you'll see that in a very short amount of time, even shorter by the by the timing of this film, I've picked out a very sharp featured character. And I've put in his nose, his chin, his eyes, his ears. I've given some suggestion of the hair on top of his head and how it sweeps down and off the back of his neck. And I've given a little bit of indication about clothing, but the clothing I've put in is really nothing entirely spectacular. Kind of a polo shirt thing, whereas I think this kind of character might actually have some kind of Baroque you know, lace conductor suit or pianist outfit or some sort of thing. He always reminds me when I'm looking at, at this and when I first drew him as some kind of conductor or musician or, or something like that because of the way his features come out. So again, you're trying in a very quick amount of time to define and to turn some edges so that you're seeing some light, you're seeing some shadow, uh, you're seeing the type of, of uh, contours that this face might have but you're not spending too much time. Now I'm actually just taking some uh, rectangles and the basic shapes and then shading in with a basic gray. And when I get finished, I'm going to do a quick kind of character sketch once again, a little bit more cartoony than the one that I did before. But, you know, the sunglasses are a quick way to just uh, get beyond doing the eyes, but it's also fun to do those. I have no idea what the story is behind this character, but again, when you're looking to simply create things fairly quickly, then the shape method is a really good one. This is a new technique that I learned not long ago. Um, it's championed by a guy named Feng Zhu and he did a lot of Star Wars work with it. And again, it's very quick prototyping, utilizing, um, utilizing pen, a thick marker, uh, laying down, again, very quick information, shapes, um, trying to put together robotic shapes in this instance uh, for a creature that would have a, a main body, a trunk, neck. Instead of hands, it would have like type of whip arms that you'd have possibly. So the notion is that you're going in and laying down quick marker and then over that you're putting white. In this case I'm using one of those white out rolls. So you're just rolling out white over the darkness. And that allows you to quickly establish those kind of robotic uh, feeling for the appendages for any kind of connector. Um, material uh, and it goes rather quickly. At first I didn't like using the rolled whiteout. It comes with its own types of limitations but in the end I thought that the structural nature of it worked very well for robots. You were able to quickly go in and put in bands of white 
and then we'll work the marker back into the bands in order to establish some, again, some edge turning, some contrast, uh, in some cases just some interesting looking structural material. Uh, trying to put the light in, uh, shadowing, going in and, and detailing out uh, some of the, the antennae, some of the headpiece material that's up there. Uh, give it, again, the, the notion that it is a robot, that it's got a metallic sheen to it. It's not going to be a finished drawing, it's merely going to be a suggestion of what the kind of robotic nature of this would be. And then if you really like it, again, you're going to do probably about five or six of these in an hour. If you like one or two of them, and you come back then and you really noodle out what you're doing with it, what the finished look of the robot's going to be. So it works out very nicely. And again, I would recommend using any kind of china marker, any kind of whiteout in order to do your whiting out.